Hello dear professionals. Welcome to Shri Pragna Academy exclusive for CMA. By the way, I'm Ramesh, your facilitator for SFM Strategic Financial Management for CMA Final and Financial Management for CMA Inter. Friends, before I take you into the deeper layers of this particular paper, quickly in one minute, I would like to put a small point before you for your kind consideration. Friends, needless to say, you can find the financial management paper with almost all, all the professional courses and academic courses as well. Let it be CA or CMA or CS or PZDM, MBA or even the graduation courses and the other academic courses as well. But why this paper is that critical, that much important? Logic is pretty simple, dear friends. In future, what you can become, we cannot predict as of now. It all depends upon the course what you pursue, your skill sets, and your appetite as well. You may become a cost accountant, or a financial manager, or any other manager for that matter, or even an entrepreneur, or a company secretary, whatever. So I cannot predict and tell as of now, whether you can really become a financial manager of a company or not and whether you really manage the finance of a company or not i cannot predict and tell as of now but i can definitely predict and tell one thing you may may not manage the finance of a company but for sure you will manage your own finance that is for sure we cannot escape it in the sense friend no matter what course you pursue no matter what occasion you take up end of the day you make a rupee you earn a rupee and you need to manage your own rupee you need to mind your own rupee. friend the financial management is actually a paper a wonderful discipline a subject which we truly demonstrate in our life in the sense we actually use the financial management we actually demonstrate this financial management in our daily life at the time of managing the rupee so dear friends whenever you are learning this particular paper i request your good self don't look at this paper as some paper that we should study write the examination pass and leave but better you study this paper to demonstrate in your own life then in any case i definitely do agree you certainly write the exam well and clear this paper with a very good mark but let it be the byproduct and the main product is making ourselves ready to make our rupee better in the sense let us learn this paper <laughs> to achieve our own financial objectives to learn this paper with that intention that appetite let that be the main product and the byproduct is pretty simple in any case we clear the exam in any case we get a good mark well Without much ado, let's come down to the point. Friends, for today, I would like to pick up a very basic and very fundamental concept for our discussion, which is nothing else, the time value of money. You know pretty well, no matter at what level you are studying the financial management, the time value of money is the first and foremost concept that we should learn. In fact, I always believe a financial management decision without time value of money consideration is void ab initio in the sense it's no more valid at all so dear friends it is very very essential to understand and recap the concept of time value of money if we really want to get into the deeper layers of financial management so friends today our discussion is pretty simple we are trying to understand what exactly the time value of money is Friends, for that purpose, let me take a simple example for a discussion. Forget about financial management for a moment. Let's go just like that. Assuming today I have given a 10,000 rupee to your hand. Tell me what you can buy with this 10,000. Suppose shoes. Can we buy? Definitely. Yes, of course. Without any compromise, you can do it. Can you buy a mobile that is a smartphone? You need to compromise retail, definitely. But that's okay. If not... Uh, iPhone comes second my phone will come not a problem you can do it but little compromise is required certainly 
can you buy gold well a jewelry you cannot manage but however a 2 gram 2.5 grams probably you can buy so further more compromise required it seems bike very difficult you should compromise really 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 a lot and very remote possibility is there maybe a 5 percentage possibility is there for you to get a bike in 10,000 probably what maybe a 20 years old 25 years old Bajaj Cub or Bajaj Shatak probably probably you may get I doubt it still I doubt it but that's okay very 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 remote possibility is there car impossible house you cannot dream even but in the sense friend we can make a small conclusion here the purchasing power of 10,000 rupee as of now that mean on today is very limited certain things you can buy but you need to compromise really a lot so with all your permission I would like to conclude here as the purchasing power of 10,000 rupee today is definitely limited and it can buy only certain things without much compromise for you but however if you go back surprisingly if you go back to 1923 see friends just imagine the purchasing power of rupee by the way don't be emotional and don't take the issue personal well friends this is actually a government notification given by the then district collector of Vishakapatnam district Rutherford in a daily newspaper Vishaka Gazette dated 20th 4 1923 and the essence of it stating that if at all anybody gives any information about Alluri Sita Ramarazu one of the most renowned freedom fighter of our India the prize money 10,000 let's not get into any controversial things it worked without further controversial discussions let's move on please in the sense just imagine the purchasing power of 10,000 rupee on that day friends another small thing for your justice consideration just give a look into it for your glance see here on 1971, a small slip I kept here which is again a list of provisional stores monthly grocery probably of a small family it seems the, the items also here your monthly provisions like kandi papu pesar papu mina papu and so on and the quantity also you see they are reasonably big quantity like three kilos two kilos again two kilos one kilo half kilo one fourth kilo and so on but the point to be noted here the total you see is friends it could be around 46 pies 46 rupee or 44 45 rupee 55 pies as such it could be around 46 or 47 rupee less than 50 rupee it simply means with a less than 50 rupee a small family managed to purchase all their monthly provisions in the year 1971 of course in this rice is not included okay chalo, let us take another 50 rupee for rice maybe another 50 more rupee for the house rent and for electricity and for other expenses put another 50 more and probably with a 200 rupee a small family can manage on that day probably it seems so in the sense you now you just uh, visualize the purchasing power of the rupee in the gone days so dear friends let us make now a small conclusion so what we understood out of it we understood like if you compare the past rupee and the present rupee undoubtedly you noticed it the past rupee has more value than the present rupee similarly if you extend the same discussion from the present to future the present rupee can be relatively much better than the future rupee so friend here the moral is pretty clear and pretty simple when the time pass on the rupee value is falling by the day the past rupee has more value than the present and the present rupee has more value than the future this is what we understood from our earlier observation in fact friend the same is 
the moral otherwise the a very essence of time value of money so dear friends the time value of money will simply conclude when the time pass on the rupee value will go down hence the past rupee is more valuable than the present rupee and the present rupee is more valuable than the future rupee of course for all our managerial decisions in any case we ignore the past not required we do consider the present and the future as well because whenever you are making any managerial decisions or any decision for that matter we stand in the present and we predict the future we extend into the future that's why just present and the future only we do consider but here the moral is pretty simple the present rupee is more valuable than the future rupee and the present value of the rupee is always greater than the future value of the rupee this is the essence of the time value of money in nutshell sir the same thing i would like to show with this with the help of a small graphical representation friends here on the screen you will find a graph showing the time value of money essence of course appearing in dollar over there don't much worry about whether it is dollar or euro or rupee because the concept of time value of money is for that matter universal it is applicable for dollar for the euro for the rupee whatever it is and just imagine take a simple example assuming you attempted one banega karodpati program and you won a one crore suppose you are exempted for the taxation also little hypothetical but man look take it granted so without any deduction of the tax one crore came to your hand and this one crore rupee suppose you did not park on any investment avenue but you simply kept this one crore rupee under lock and key in a safe case assuming you left it for one year after one year you have taken it outside you just done the head count you just counted it how much it could be of course it could be the same one crore only because you haven't taken out even a single rupee out of it so by head count it is the same one crore but value wise if you see today what you can do with the one crore the same you cannot replicate after one year in the sense the purchase power of the rupee is falling down due to the inflation or any other reason you call so the rupee value is falling down so what you can do with one crore today you cannot replicate you cannot do the same thing after one year with the same one crore it mean after one year that one crore will be as bad as a 90 lakh you can say it otherwise mean today what you can do with the 90 lakh the same thing you are able to do with one crore after one year so the one crore ban gaya now just 90 lakh that you did not realize imagine suppose you kept again the one crore at the count of it 1 crore kada you kept it again in the lock and key for another four more years you see and after five years from today you pick it up and you have again done the head count still the same 1 crore but the value it will go down to maybe around 60 lakh or so you did not realize it imagine still again you kept it in the uh, safe case under lock and key left it for another 10 more years so after 15 years from today you pick it up and you have counted the notes how many they are head count you have taken still it is 1 crore because you are so sincere did not pick it up even a single rupee out of it but however the value wise it can't be greater than 10 lakh just imagine friend how the rupee value is falling down just to see the damage if you don't know the concept of time value of money then what will happen to your rupee sir if at all anybody either ignorant of time value of money concept or don't know it then what the result initially he might be a king karodpati but if he did not mind the time value of money concept if he has not taken any proper precaution to fight against the uh, decreasing in the rupee value by the name of time value of money if he did not take any precaution for that then the result could be the rupee in his hand will become weaker and weaker by the day and he will become poorer which we definitely don't like so friend the moral of the kahani is pretty simple behind all our financial management decision there is time value of money 
without considering the concept of time value of money we cannot move on we cannot go ahead that is why as i told you already any financial management decision without consideration of time value of money is void ab initio and it is not valid right from the beginning itself it is void right from the beginning itself that's it friend but however you may you may get a small doubt here like how to incorporate the concept of time value of money because the moral of the time value of money we understood but your doubt is how to incorporate the concept of time value of money in our financing decisions friends that let us discuss in our uh, next episode in our next episode let us have a detailed talk on the techniques of time value of money like the simple interest compound interest other way you can call it as compounding multiple compounding continuous compounding discounting as such it all let us discuss in our next episode thanks for watching bye have a wonderful day ahead